first, I, I thought it would be nice to just to kind of review all of the options for building reg within Vertex AI. Um, there, there's a, quite a few different options for doing retrieval. Um, so for example, you could use Vertex AI search. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, you have d different options for specifying a retrieval. So you have, you can use Vertex AI search, um, which is your generating embeddings and, and loading those into Vertex AI search, which is just an embeddings database. Um, you can build your own retrieve, uh, retriever. Uh, there's a tool called Lambda Index, which is an open source tool that Google has adopted as its managed reg, uh, version of reg. It, it offers end-to-end -end reg, which I'll be demonstrating in a, in a demo soon. But uh, this is just to show you that there are various options for doing retrieval and generation within Vertex. Um, so specifically on this question, how to ground uh, LLMs with Google Drive data. So um, I'll be using Llama Index for this. And the basic process or the key concepts with Llama Index, it's, it's open source um, and it has different uh, APIs for doing data ingestion, transformation, embeddings, and indexing. The main concept around Llama Index is, is data indexing. Um, it, it uses something called what they call a corpus to uh, to uh, ingest all the embeddings and and to use as the um, as the retrieval uh, to to get retrieved uh, answers from. Um, so a couple things you need to think about first when you're when you're doing this with Google Drive data specifically, uh, you need to grant the Vertex AI reg data service agent. So this is a service cap for service account. That's only visible if you check the box in your IAM page. If you choose include Google provided role grants, you need to grant that service account access to your Google Drive folder or file that you want to be able to um, uh, ingest into your corpus. So that's the very first step and you'll get a you get an error if you don't do it or you actually won't get an error if you it'll just say that it, it isn't going to import the, the document that you that you want. And then you can just set some uh, some variables up here for your project. Um, this is for the uh, the corpus display name and the description and set a location and then a Google Drive folder pass. And then for uh, generating embeddings, it uses as by default, it uses the text embedding uh, 004, uh, but there are a lot of different choices you can you can choose from as far as uh, the specific embedding model that you want want to use. And the process is fairly straightforward. You just initialize on Vertex AI the client and then create a corpus. And then once you import files, you can uh, you can get a count of how many files were imported. And I'll show you what this folder looks like. This is a folder on my drive that I created for this demo that's around, uh, I just uploaded a couple of recent PDF papers that I was using for demos. One is um, Q1 2024 alphabet earnings statement. <laughs> and the other one is a practitioner's guide at ML Ops. It's a white paper. Um, so those are both, uh, imported into uh, my corpus. And now I can ask a question using the retriever, something like, what was Alphabet's revenue for Q1 2024? And I can use that retriever, retriever to understand what specifically is it pulling back from that document uh, uh, that matches uh, based on a, a couple parameters that you have to choose from. So you have similarity top K, which is just controlling the maximum amount of context that it retrieves, and then the vector distance threshold. Um, so this is anything below this, it's it's going to uh, consider to retrieve back uh, from the index. So the top thing returned back was, a uh, piece of text returned back was around their first quarter results, which is you know very similar to what, what the question was about. And I'm sure somewhere in that one, 
there's going to be a mention of of revenue somewhere. But we can we don't have to look at this if we don't want to. We can just go straight to the to the generation and ask the same question uh, using one of the um, vertex uh, GNAM models and get the response. Uh, so running this with Gemini 1.0, 1, 1 uh, we can see that the res results, Alphabet's revenue for Q1 2024 was 8.5 billion, up 15% year over year. And if we just go to that, back to that document, we can see that it's, it's that is right, you know, right there on the first page of, of that document. So that's a, a quick demo of what Llama Index can do. It definitely can uh, do a lot more uh, with with you know data documents on your on your drive folders.